Yo, what's up guys? My name is Adam and welcome back to Wolves United Gaming. We are the we are going to be the strongest wolf pack on YouTube. And obviously we are playing some more CTR Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. As Crash said, point down. And we are playing as Coco Bandicoot. But hopefully we are actually going to be playing as another character today. Now another popular character in the Crash Bandicoot Team Racing series is none other than Polar, the cute little polar bear. And obviously the reason why he is so cute, fluffy and adorable is because of one thing. He lives in the he lives in the cold. And one thing I love about Polar, he has stuck through the whole Crash Bandicoot series from like one to Alright, where is he? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So basically we are heading into the ice area. Now we haven't been here before, so this is brand new. So our first race is called Blizzard Bluff. I've played on this map before and this is very cold and very awesome. Plus this game is made for kids so there will be no parental warning advice. But there are some creepy characters in there so tiny bit of a parental warning. Um, also I will be officiating a tournament on Rocket League. It will be a singles tournament and you can enter it will be on Sunday yes Valentine's Day and it will be called the Love Way Tournament so yeah even even so even so you still have to be on your best if you're going to play in my tournament. This is Blizzard Bluff, the coldest part of Crash Bandicoot's world. Get the slow lane, buddy. But yeah, like I said guys, rule one, if you're going to be in my Rocket League tournament, is that obviously you've got to have fun. You've got to have a smile on your face. Even if you lose, you still got a smile. So guys, 
I'll be talking about like characters a lot. But if you want, I will continue the Crash Bandicoot series. And that's how it's done. Crash Bandicoot 4, it is about time. Um, but yes. So, like every world we do, we go through all four levels in one video so you maybe so this video is going to be called chill out because of how much there is how cold it is for one i shouldn't be wearing a cocoa out cocoa skin i should be wearing a polar skin because to fit the weather um but like I said, please ignore what's going on in my background. This is... But yes, please support my friends Blue Wolf and Night Wolf. They are great creators. Great content makers. But please. Just don't put a thumbs down on this. But like I said, we'll be sticking with Coco until the very end. Congratulations, you win a trophy. But please. But please do not hate on my friend. We're going to play as Polar. Look how cute he is! Alright, where's the next one? Alright, good. Gotta do a little turn around. We can't face the boss yet. To open this door, you must come in first place in all four races of this area. Aka... Akuaku is right, we need to come first in all areas. But to do that, we need to complete races. So let's head to the next race zone. With and since we are polar, we've got to look the part. Since we are in the ice caps, we've got to look part. As polar, we have the fur. We have the all decency. Oh yeah, and Nightwolf is asleep. He just went to bed. He just texted me a few hours ago. He's having a little sleep from our race earlier. You can check that out on his channel. And please guys, show some decency of showing him some love, some respect. He is a great creator. I don't see why people put thumbs down on his creation knowing he was playing as Neocortex. I guess that was why. Um, but still. Nobody should doubt the fact that he is a great creator. And we are playing in Dragon Mines. I love the music for Dragon's Mine.
So like Aku Aku said, the more fruits we get, the faster our car goes. We are going at top speed now. We have finished the race in first. Yes, we have to. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Polar Path! This should be good everyone! Polar Pair. So we see Mama Polar looking after Bailey Polar. Don't worry, we'll see Mama Polar a bit later. I think Kyle is just adorable.
Flip flop. Belly flop. That's a little, like, little shortcut from the launch point. That's a little shortcut that you guys can take in order to reach the goal. Sometimes we get questions that are more or less on the lines of inappropriate to appropriate. So that's three races down. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Only one more to go. Into the mouth. So this is the last one before we face the boss. I think he's a dragon. I'm not really sure <laughs> about facing a dragon with a baby polar bear driving. So we're heading to Hi. Arena. Oops, a little bit of light there, but we're back. So you can hide him. Blue shell. I'm really enjoying doing this series for you guys.
does like a pro. This is when I come into full fruition. Like, still 10 wampers? I'm still rocking these guys. Now, I'm not getting too confident because I know I haven't been able to get confident. Now uh, see, this is something I can do in Dragon Mind. Drift a lot. Isn't that gonna start? Color from the dreaming his dreams. There we go. Simple, easy, affordable. Plus we got the Happy New Year Luna Cup on the channel coming up sooner or later. Um, now we've actually got the boss, which it's supposed to be harder than the actual levels. I was drifting around these guys. <laughs> so, you've beaten all the other races on these tracks. Well, now you'll see why I'm the most feared driver on this circuit. I'll earn the right to this outside by crushing you into break dust. Let's race. So we're facing a giant ass. Tomorrow, Joe's challenge. I just feel like sometimes I hate these characters even further than I already do. But yes, Kamara Joe is going to be the last challenge we're going to face before we sign off the video. Yes, we have faced St Ru. We have faced Papu. Poopa. <laughs> Can't say his name. Um, We'll call him Chief. And we have faced now we are facing Sliver Breath in Dragon's Mind. We want to get a really good early on this guy. Nice try.
and for that, doing the take of the dungeon. Oh, that's We have the Kamoro Sliver. You're not so slow after all. Surprised me you did. Here's a key for the win. Still, I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and it'll be all your fault. Well, there's a threatening warning for someone who hasn't played this game in a while. Yes, if you want to know, Oxide is the big bad guy. Bit on the quarantine side, quarantine is reducing down rapidly. Playing as is Neocortex himself. So, guys, please leave a like, subscribe. And help us win against Neocortex. Have a nice day, everyone.